Bahama Liuman. So, he's the top guy. He could be the reason Mabuchi's pulling all this shit. Including the hit on Nonomiya. Xiao might be giving all the orders. You know, Mabuchi sent me an interesting video. Yeah. You're the star in it, aren't you? I can believe the dumb part. I'm told you tried to steal this. I know you're with the Seiryu clan. Yeah! You're damn straight! They edited the damn video! I'm not with the Seiryu clan! Oh, you're not, are you? Then why the hell would you be tailing Mabuchi in the first place? Because... <laughs> Careful now. No lies. Hey, stop! <sighs> Choose some quick, wise words now. I'm a busy man. It's exactly what Kasuka said. Our boss was killed, and we followed the clues to Mabuchi. Yeah, this whole thing is Mabuchi's fault. He used us to pin a false accusation on the Seiryu clan. So you're laying all of this at Mabuchi's feet. You're basically slandering my right-hand man right now, you know? Hard to believe he'd suddenly go rogue on me. And he's just as busy as I am, not the type of guy with time to scheme. He's only busy because he's trying to start wars. Don't you get it? I mean, isn't it a little weird that your right-hand man is nowhere in sight? Have you even talked to him since you saw that video? That's a good point, Zhao-san. If you don't know where Mabuchi is, doesn't that make you look bad? Excuse me. Uh, think about it. If Mabuchi ain't answering his own boss's calls, could that mean he was fanning the flames of war? And now he's holed up somewhere waiting to watch it burn? He hasn't just gone rogue. He's betrayed you. And I walk out into a fucking sermon? Call it whatever you want. Long as you get it through your head, we're not to blame here. And deep down, you know that. Did you think that sounded cool, Grandpa? You're shit at this. <clears throat> What are you doing? Stop! You know, I wouldn't mind killing all of you right here, right now. Everyone who played a role in this sorry story dies right down to the captain. I'd say that's a textbook opening move for a war. Well, stop talking about it and do it then. Fuck Mabuchi! He gunned down two young Seiryu clan boys in cold blood! So as far as I'm concerned, this war has already begun. Hey, shut up, both of you! You guys really think a war is the way to go? You think that'll turn out well? Don't be stupid! You can stop this! Or do you like being Mabuchi's little pawns? Was I not clear? I don't like sermons. Well, that's not what I'm calling it. Consider it a formal complaint. And a real leader ought to shut up and listen when there's a complaint. Oh, should I, huh? <laughs> Ichiban Kasuga, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. I'm all ears. But first, I want you to answer a question. Shoot. Why would Manuji try to start a war in Ijincho in the first place? How in the goddamn world does that benefit him? How the fuck should I know? What a surprise. And in regards to that soap land owner, do you know for sure that Mabuchi killed him? Yeah, he straight up told me when I asked him. Ah. Uh -huh. Well, I'm not buying it. Which means this discussion's over. Look, man, I saw it in his eyes. That dude's a murderer! Raising your voice isn't gonna make me change my mind. Wait! Shooting him drags us all into a war, while Mabuchi watches somewhere safe and sound! Is that what you want? What would that even accomplish? 
You'll kill a man without even knowing that? I'll say it as many times as it takes, Zhao. Mabuchi planned all of this, and he's out there laughing in the shadows. If you start this war, your whole organization will be stained with that forever. <laughs> Kasuga-kun, I don't think you're lying, shit. I think you'd be terrible at it. Hmm. But just because you're not lying doesn't mean it's true. I need proof before I act. I gotta think like a leader, right? And that means setting a fucking example. At the very least, I need evidence that Mabuchi killed the soap landowner. That's where the whole thing started, after all. According to you. Uh -huh. So she heard Lao Ma over the phone. That's all you got. Isn't that enough? Hell no, it's not. <sighs> I've got an idea. <laughs> but to be honest, I'm not really sure I want to get them involved. Who's them? There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh. The web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komiju. Komiju? There's only one place to go in this town if you need reliable intel. Uh. The web where all the secrets of Ijincho get caught. Komiju. Komiju? Yeah. If someone really is trying to fuck with the Ijin 3's balance of power. That someone being Mabuchi, as you claim. There's no way the Komiju don't know about it. Information is what they trade in. It's practically their currency. <sighs> He's right. Eugene Cho's got lots of people willing to sell secrets. And if you follow each secret long enough, they all end up in Komi Jewel. Yeah. I don't know how they do it, but whatever their system, the info is always 100% accurate. <laughs> it's incredible, really. Doesn't seem real. I'm not saying you have to use the Komi Jewel to find evidence of your Mabuchi theory. If you got other ideas, fine. Just prove to me that Mabuchi killed your boss. I'll let the captain here live until you return. Hmm. By the way, don't even think about running. If so much as your pinky toe crosses the Ichincho border, the captain dies. And I still wouldn't be satisfied. So your friends and your family would be next. Wait, what the hell's with that? Don't argue, Sachan. These guys don't do logic or compassion. Honestly, I want an answer just as bad as you all do. If Mabuchi really has betrayed me, then my gang's gonna be split down the middle. Neither the Seiryu clan nor the Komi Jewel is gonna be thrilled about that. But that's why I need contingency plans. You see now? All the shit I gotta deal with. Man, I sure hope Mabuchi's innocent. But of course, then I'd have to kill you all. <laughs> Painfully. No complaints, I hope. <laughs> no need to be all giddy about it. Well, what are you waiting for? Go find proof that Mabuchi killed your soap landowner. Kasuga, I don't think we have a choice. <sighs> I know. You're probably aware, but the Komi Jewel don't fuck around. So be careful. Finding the evidence won't do any good if you're dead. You almost sound like you care. Kasago, we really gotta get moving. And fast. Yeah, yeah, you're right.
Huh. Yo. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. You'll have to... Right. understand. Okay, well, please get in touch if you change your mind. Thank you. Bye. Good luck on your future endeavors. Yeah, at this rate, I don't have a future, period. Yo, Wakari! Huh? Oh, oh, oh no! Kasuga-kun! <laughs> How much did you hear? Let's see. Something about you not having a future? <sighs> Great. So you know I'm pretty much screwed. This is bad. What will become of the elite, charming, cream of the crop persona I've been cultivating? Nobody sees you like that. Oh, hello there, you two. I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Nah. Lagari's just down in the dumps, so I'm thinking about how to cheer him up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Time out, Kasuka-kun. Shut up about that. He's just kidding me, Akoshi-san. It's really nothing serious. Everything's fine as can be. Uh, okay. Anyway, Kasuga-kun, were we about to get going? We had some kind of, uh, a tea thing planned. Wait, what tea thing? <laughs> You're hilarious, you know that? Well, off we go. Sup? Hmm?
Done here, Mr. Big Bad Elite? I take it all back, Akari. I was only jealous of how smart you are. Okay? We good now? Oh, yeah. And if you still want a job, I'll put in a word for you back at the office. No bullshit this time. Promise. <laughs> I think whatever company would hire goons like you is bound to go under quick. So I respectfully decline. Well said, Akari. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> Come on! Let's just go! Sorry to echo your line, but these guys deserved it. I can see that. Thanks, Kasuga-kun, for bailing me out big time. Nah, you're always the one bailing me out. So how could I ignore a friend in his time of need? <laughs> you know, at first I thought you were kind of lame, but it turns out you're a really good guy. If I ran a company, I'd hire you in a heartbeat. Here's a little something from me. Hope it comes in handy. What's the plan from here on out, Akari? I think I'm gonna stay the course and keep job hunting. That and vocational ed. I may not march to society's drum, but nothing will improve if I give up. And even though I've been knocked down by 99 companies, I've got a mountain of certificates to break my fall. So I'll just get back up and have at it. As long as I believe in myself, I can keep going. Hey, <laughs> listen to you. You got way more going on than you thought. Trust in yourself, and you can't go wrong. Right. So, what's the lucky hundredth company you're applying to next? Oh, it's, uh, some place called Ichiban Holdings. Uh-huh. I've never really heard about it till now. Apparently it's this local organization that's all about giving back to the community. Yeah, uh, the thing is... What, you wanna apply together? You do look like the type who's barely scraping by. Hey, maybe you could use me as a reference. Listen, I own that company. Huh? I'm the president, man. Uh, uh, forgive my errant tongue and slovenly demeanor, future boss! Dude, what's your problem? 
I'll do anything! Anything, just say it! Want your shoes licked? Okay, let's give it some tongue! Stop acting like a dumbass for once! See, this is why nobody wants to hire you!